Hey, what is up my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 84 and today people, I want to share a story with you guys. Now this story is how I ended up playing Call of Duty for the first time ever and how I ended up being good. Because I'm still good to today, you know, you guys can see some of my gameplays. I actually did manage to pull off a 100 kill gameplay, so I'm still good at the game. I can like pretty much lead in every single lobby with no problem. But I want to tell you guys the origins, how I ended up playing Call of Duty for the first time ever because it's kind of weird. And it's kind of like very unexplanatory because it just happened out of nowhere. Especially since I only play fantasy games, racing games, fighting games, and football games like Madden NFL. That's all I used to play back in the PS2 era. And I've never played first person shooters because I, I believe that third person shooters are better. And because you can see your own character. But first person shooters, I'm like, you can only see your gun. So what's the point in customizing your character? So that's why I never play first person shooters at all. I play Rare Faction, but only for the story. I wasn't so much into first person shooters at all back in the day. But um, the way this started is super weird because my brother, whose name who goes by the name Dark Raven 55 you've seen him here a few times in my comment sections in my live streams um, he wanted to play Call of Duty not me <laughs> you see back in tossing in 9 or tossing in 10 whenever Black Ops 1 was already was already out you know he ended up buying Black Ops 1 when I told him not to. We, back in the day, we used to gather money together for games, you know, for like Def Jam 5 for New York or for the next Madden. We always gather our money together. And that time, he said, you know what, I'm going I'm to buy Call of Duty. Do you want to play Call of Duty? Because back in World at War, we used to play the co-op story mode every single day. Like, I told him, like, yeah, it was fun and all, but I don't like the multiplayer. I told him, I don't want to play co-op multiplayer. I know it's like we always play together and everything, but I didn't want to play Call of Duty because I think it sucked. So, <laughs> the next day, he took our money, and he ended up buying Call of Duty Black Ops 1. And I was like, why did you buy it? I'm not going to play that thing, you know? Just leave it there on the table. I'm not going to play it. That morning, he just left it on the table. And then uh, we went to school. I, I went to a different high school than him. Um, after high school, after, after school, you know, I came back home. I believe he was still either in football practice or he was hanging out with his friends. He wasn't showing up after 4.30 p.m. And I, told him, and I was thinking like, you know what? I'm going to play the game. Whatever. I'm going to give it a chance. Since he wasted money, he brought it home. I'm going to play it. So I unwrapped the paper. You know, I, I took off the game, put the game on the PS3. And, uh, <laughs> and I go into my first match. I was using the Enfield Assault Rifle in Black Ops 1. And out of nowhere, in my first team death match, match... Um, I ended up going like around 28 kills and five deaths, somewhere around there, but it wasn't more than 10. And I was thinking like, how am I shooting so naturally? <laughs> how am I, like how you see it right now in the background in this gameplay, I was shooting so naturally. I'm like, how, how am I even playing this game? And how am I even getting more than 10 kills? I don't know. It just freaking happens. In the next match, I ended up crossing 30 kills in a single team death match. With like around 10 deaths this time, you know, I actually was getting like a little bit higher in deaths because I was moving around more often. And I was like, how am I playing this good if I never have experienced Call of Duty before? Over the next hours, I was playing a little bit more and more and more. I was getting better and better. And I was so accustomed to these weapons. I was like, how am I even good? How am I even getting kills if I only played football games? If I only played Final Fantasy X? If I only played Madden, NASCAR, Need for Speed? Those are all the games that I play. Those, those are the games that I have the most experience with. But out of nowhere, I do good in Call of Duty? Like, how? who can, who can explain this to me? How is it so easy just to pick up the controller and play Call of Duty? A lot of people say it requires skills, but to be honest, it came to me naturally out of nowhere. Like, this is 100% honesty. I never liked Call of Duty before. I still, I kind of still kind of don't, but, you know, I play it because I'm good for some odd reason. So, over the next few weeks, I told, I told my brothers, you know, hey, I'm doing good in Call of Duty. Why is that? You know, how, I don't even play it. And they know because, you know, we were little. We didn't have a lot of internet. We had to go to my brother's play, you know, online in Call of Duty, Call of Duty 4. And um, when I got my internet in my house, that's the first time I ever played online by myself. So, they were seeing the videos that I was saving, and I was getting 60 kills in Domination in Ground War. It was so ridiculous. They were like, how are you even doing this? I told them, like, I don't know. I never played this game before. And even in the games also, people were calling me hacker. You know, oh, this guy's hacking. That's how he's getting all the kills. And I'm like, I, and I put on my mic. I put on my Bluetooth. And I told them, like, hey, 
I never played this game before. I don't know. You guys have more time than me, and I'm doing good out of nowhere. They're like, shut the fuck. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> they were like, shut the hell up. Like, <sighs> I'm getting all this kills. I'm getting the chopper gunner. I'm getting the fire uh, napalm strike. And I don't know where I'm doing good. Like, it was just so random. I never expected it. It hit me like a train. So when people tell me, like, oh, you probably practice every day. I'm like, no. It just comes naturally to me. It came naturally since day one. Ever since then, Black Ops 1 was my pride time. And I actually ended up in the top 15 in the whole world for both domination and team deathmatch for a whole week and a half. Kind of weird. So that's my story guys on how I play Call of Duty. If you guys got any questions, leave it in the comment section.